Hello guys and welcome back to the show So today I have this sunset eyes going on for you guys I mean this screams also to me Maybe it's not But I feel like it's sunset So I'm gonna call it sunset eyes So if you wanna see how I got this look Then please keep on watching and I'll see you in 2 seconds Hey guys so I have my eyebrows done again, as always, and my eyes are primed with the Illegal Pro Concealer in Sophie, and I'm just taking out the creases, so you can get started on the look. I'm definitely feeling something blue. Don't know what, but it's gonna be blue. Okay, so for today's palette, okay. I'm gonna be using this Sample Beauty Part M Shift Palette. I have been loving this since I got it. Absolutely loving it. And I'm gonna go in with this blue right here. That's my first shade. I'm gonna take a proper brush and just dip it into the blue. And just start packing that into my crease, well, onto my outer corners. Like do you see this? So pigmented. So I'm going to put that in the outer and the inner corner and obviously in my crease I'm taking halo, I haven't done halo in a while and I don't like doing halo but hey ho I'm going to take the Sample Beauty called Palette and I'll use this bright blue right here it looks a lot darker on the camera but it's really nice and bright and i'll put that on the edges of this blue so 50 50 half on the dark blue and half on the concealer just to gradually blend it And then I'll take this really, really soft blue color right there just to blend the oil edge of this bright blue that I just put down. Like so. And then for my kind of lash, lash shade, I'll take this bright yellow down the corner here. And just put it around the edge of this blue all the way to my brow bone area i really like using yellow in case you haven't noticed yet i use yellow in every look yes every look just to diffuse it out and you know it gives it that greeny vibe which i'm not mad at Let's see so it's I'm just going back and forth with all the colors that I showed you guys in the beginning just you know to build it up okay I'm gonna go with my last shade wow this is like what 18 minutes I am doing this so quickly and in case you're wondering why it don't is so long it ain't for me okay I take like three hours on my eyeshadow it's a sad throat it's reality okay it's a long time I shouldn't spend on eyeshadow but I do but today I don't have time to do that so we're gonna do it quickly I'm going to take the black and I'll put that in the outer corners and the inner corners and then I'll blend it remaining in my crease just to make it very dark and deep like so I mean the blue is already deep like it's a really really deep blue but I just wanna you know make it very very dark Like so. See, that looks deeper than that one. You 
if you're doing this I would say here needs a bit more bending what time is it right now darling time it's of the essence oh wait I feel like it's a bit too bright okay that's better that at least you can see the blend a bit more I think if you can't well emerge in the blend okay so I'm pretty happy with that I'm going to make a wipe and I'll just clean up the center of the eyes makeup wipes really really beautiful okay so I'm gonna start here and when I am cleaning up I don't clean up all the way right next to my crease because I feel like with this I can't get precision you know what I mean so if I go too high I'm just missing my whole damn eyeshadow oh shit like this okay. I'm just gonna miss my whole damn eyeshadow and I cannot fix that so I tend to stay low because I always, I'm always I'm gonna clean up with my concealer so yeah stay low unless you're really good at this then by all means clean it up properly with this but if you're not stay away from it girl stay away from it I'm gonna call my crease now and I'm just gonna stamp look straight so I know how my eyes are naturally when I open it start stamping that on all right so how i'll line up what i'm gonna work with and then i'll go in and clean up i like to raise my eyelids because then i have a flat whereas here it's like my eyes move a lot you know just trying to do it here but once i lift my eyebrows up i have a flat surface to work with you know there you go I'm pretty happy with that line and then I'll fill in the actual eyelids that is too damn bright like I just know it's too bright I hope it's not too bright because I can't tell what it's gonna look like on the screen so right now I'm like oh it's too dark as I was saying, if I put the exposure up a little bit, I feel like it, it, it looks washed out. But then I feel like if I leave it right now, a little bit dark and unblended, I mean that I could do it a little bit more blending actually. That I could do it a bit more. But that one is fine. So you can just gonna take photos from this side. Because <laughs> I ain't got time. Okay, let me just, you know, do to business. Okay, I'm gonna fill in my lid. Careful when you go up to here because sometimes I do that and I just scoop the whole damn thing. And let me tell you, nothing pisses me off than having to fix a halo eye or any cut crease. Like, I just hate it because I can't. Okay, I can't. There you go, I'm blending it. And then. Because I know if I try and blend my inner corners with my hands, which I will do in a minute, it will not go absolutely correct. <laughs> but I'm still going to do it. But just, you know, wipe your brush on your hands a little bit and then start tapping it again. Just to make sure literally there is zero to none in your product. And before I put eyeshadows on, I like to do the other eyes. Because two different eye shapes, you gotta work with stages, okay? If I said that I need to fix it, I can't do that while I said it, so. I'll do the same to the eyes as well. And I'll be right back, so I'm gonna skip through this. I'll be back. All right, and then, use your pinky. Your pinky is your best friend. Why is that this is so dumb? Come on, clouds. Come on, don't do this to me. Give me some sun. Okay, I'm gonna take my pinky. Just, you know. Do the outer and inner corner. And everything I tap, every time I tap, you know, I have to shake my hands. Alright. I'm thinking sunset on the eyes. I mean, it's pretty original, isn't it? Sunset on the eyes. But it's what I'm feeling, okay? So. 
Okay, I'm gonna take the second blue that I used, so like the bright blue, and I'll tap that right here. And I am doing my tapping at an angle, you know, because I like these angle shapes. I really like doing it. You're thinking, Jace, you should probably use a small brush. I should. But the power of not liking washing brushes, <laughs> it's too overwhelming right now, so. Guys, this sample beauty palette, right? Like, their palettes are amazing. Amazing. I was going to try it, but I never get myself to buy it. I'm like, oh, I have my Movie 35B. And I have so many other palettes that have colors. Well, not so many other palettes, but I do have a... Mm, that's a lie, actually. I do have so many palettes. Anyways, I have a few palettes that have colors. Like, all my palettes are pretty much colorful, because that's all I use. So, I couldn't give myself a reason to buy it. I'm like, you know what, Jason's fine. Daily pigmented. I always see it on IG. It's amazing. But I'm not going to fall for that trap. Okay? And then... They were doing buy one, get one free on everything on their side. <laughs> I was like, who the hell am I joking? I am buying it. I am buying it. I am broke, but I will buy it with proudness. I'm going to go for this baby pink. And I'll put that around the edges right here. All right, and then I'm going to take yellow, not not yellow. I'm going to go orange, and I'll take this orange. I'll take this orange. This is this is the color palette, by the way. And then I'm going to take the yellow from the paradigm shift palette, the one I've been, the one I used around my brow bone anyway. Just to let you guys know. Okay, so now that I have the colors placed on my, on my eyes, I'm gonna use my Makeup Addiction Pigments in Gold Digger and in Cashmere Rose and Ink Jet. Okay, I'm gonna start with Gold Digger. I'll put, it, I'll put that in the center. You can use the glitter glue to make this really popping, but I just want to show if I really am not bothered with the maximum pigment you know all around sparkle and then I'm taking cashmere rose and putting that right next to it and then I'll go with a dust of ink jet, jet ink sorry as you guys know my beloved Hank and Henry mascara in cloud and I'll just brush it in my eyes because I'm putting lashes on I don't put too much mascara on my upper lashes oh my god jeez I'll take my essence eyeliner pen alright yes yes okay so I'm taking my excitement body lashes that's the one in blue so they're like a really nice round shape lash so we go with the nice round halo eyes going on i'll put the glue on those apply those and i'll be right back and we're gonna do our face or maybe i'll be right back and we're gonna do our eyes it depends on how long this is but yeah this is what we have so far so you like it i like it if you can see between my eyes and the lashes don't worry, nobody's gonna stand that close to me. If you are, then you don't know personal space, so. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna use my sample beauty. You know what I'm using. Why am I sewing again? I'm gonna use the blue. Maybe I should use pink instead of green. Huh. So I might be doing this blue and this pink. Wait, sorry, I might be doing this blue and this bright pink, which is looking hella washed out. Why? Uh-huh, this blue and this pink, 
or I could do the blue with this light blue. It could go either, either way. I am not sure. Let's zoom you in a little bit. And then if you put your white eye base or the concealer under your eyes, it's gonna stick really, really well. The color is gonna pigment that and just, you know, but I'm too lazy. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in straight away. And these palettes are pretty pigmented, so it should be fine on its own. So I'm just gonna go in as it is, okay? And pray it works out. And I'm gonna take that dark blue and I'm just tamping that on to my lash line. I think I should do pink. Ugh, it is not sticking. Some okay, you know what? I'll use some of my Colourpop Concealer in Fair 00 And I'll stab that on One last the pretty eyes I'm gonna use my PRS pigment, put that right here just because it's blue toned and on the eyes blue and then my mask picks off so everything that looks so good for my lips same old same hole the Jolana T-shirt cosmetic I always suggest it on a t-shirt because my Dixie just turned on a t-shirt <sighs> Lip glosses in Clueless and Bougie Alright guys, so this is it for the finished lip Let's zoom you in My lips Alright and I hope you liked it and if you did don't forget to hit that like button comment down below subscribe and I'll see you in my next video